Amazing Bats. When most of us think of bats, the vampire bat is one of the first to come to mind. Vampire bats don't really turn into Count Dracula. They rarely bite people, and they rarely kill their prey. Vampire bats prey mainly on cows, horses, and other large mammals. They make a shallow cut with their razor-sharp teeth. Then they lick up the blood. Each bat only drinks about an ounce of blood each night, about the weight of four American quarters. Although vampire bats may be the ones most commonly remembered, there are many other kinds of bats. Bats can be found in most parts of the world, forests, deserts, jungles, and cities. Bats feed at night. They are nocturnal and spend the day sleeping in caves or in treetops. The place where a bat sleeps is called its roost. Bats hang upside down from their roosts when they sleep. Though some bats roost in groups of only one or two, bats are usually very social animals. They usually sleep together in huge groups. Some caves may be home to thousands of bats. The largest bat colony in the world is in Bracken Cave, Texas. During the summer, this cave is home to as many as 20 million Mexican free-tailed bats. That's a lot of bats. Caves aren't the only places that bats hang out. Bats also sleep in trees, mines, under bridges, in bushes, and even in old buildings or barns. Some tiny South American bats make tent-like shelters out of palm tree leaves. Bats have begun to adapt to city life by changing their behavior to live in man-made structures in the city. The largest urban bat colony is under the Congress Avenue Bridge in Austin, Texas. The bridge is home to about 1.5 million Mexican free-tail bats. Austin is home to only a little over 1.5 million people there are almost as many bats living under the bridge as there are people living in the entire city. Cities can negatively affect wildlife, but it can also provide shelter for some species. Cities usually have fewer predators, plenty of food, and shelter from natural disasters such as floods and blizzards. Unfortunately, some animals, such as bats themselves, can carry diseases, harm pets, and cause accidents like car crashes. The flying fox is a type of bat that has settled in cities in Australia. Tens of thousands of bats can live in a single camp. These places in cities in Australia are often extremely noisy, bad-smelling, and full of bat droppings. However, knowing where the bats tend to roost could help people figure out how to manage the problem. Flying foxes like the perks, or benefits, of living in Australian cities. And hopefully, humans can figure out a way to live peacefully with them. Now that you're finished listening to this article, I'd like for you to start the video over again. Listen for any interesting facts, any words that you do not understand, and be ready to share any questions that you have.